All right, guys, check this out. <laughs> it shuts off my power supplies immediately. So my power supplies are going into uh, overcurrent mode, which is why they're pulsing like this. But uh, wait for it to. Let me detune it just a little bit. And that'll help a little bit. There we go. Oh, come on, stop shutting off. As soon as my other power supply cuts on, the, uh, the output could... You can see how hot these sparks get when they're, uh, both power supplies in series are working, but... See how it gets really hot after I stretch it out a little bit? Pop! There it went. So that's when the other power supply kicks in, but they're both going into uh, hiccup mode. So hiccup mode is is a uh, is when the power supply detects an over um, overcurrent, and so it shuts off for a length of time. Uh, it's to prevent the power supply from overheating. However, in our case, it's uh, detrimental. It's uh, reducing the performance of this coil. I don't know. Oh, and uh, I'm not grounded, by the way, so this is totally safe. If I was grounded at the same time, like if I reach over here and grab this power supply, I would be dead. Actually, that's not true. This doesn't hurt me for some reason, and I think the reason why it doesn't hurt is because of the really high frequency. This Tesla coil is operating at a pretty high frequency. It ran, I think I got it tuned to 200 and, 280 kilohertz. So, uh... That seems to be where this coil looks most happy. Yeah, see, there's my other power supply. But, uh, yeah, let's turn this off. Power supply is pretty warm. Secondary coil, warm. Primary is very warm. What about? All right, so here, check this out, guys. Check this out. This is my primary, uh, this is a dual resonant Tesla coil design, continuous wave. And I'm just using literally these little itty bitty, teeny tiny ceramic capacitors. They're not even warm. <laughs> they're stone, well, okay, I can't say they're stone cold. Uh, they're, they're really hot because this bolt is getting really hot. This bolt is the bottleneck. It's made of steel, and the skin effect means that the uh, electricity is traveling through the skin of the steel rather than through it. So these, these bolts are a bad idea. I'm going to have to change the design up a bit. Also, I've got this thing uh, sitting in water just to keep it cool. This heat sink gets pretty toasty if you didn't have the water here. I could also have a lot of air just blowing uh, through this keep it air-cooled, but that's noisy, and I don't like noisy. Yeah, anyway, this is just a, a quick update on my Tesla coil project.